Why, hello there, everybody. My name is Jim Shear, host of this fine music trivia show. And here's what happens on 70s, 80s, 90s now. You call up. I ask questions. If you win a round, you win a prize. It's that simple. Coming up right now, I've got Everlong from the Foo Fighters. And throughout the years, I've experienced this song in so many different ways. I've seen the Foo Fighters play it live at festivals, in clubs, in arenas, but the most unique incarnation of it was when I was hosting a 24-hour Foo Fighters marathon and Dave Grohl officiated a wedding. And then at the end of the ceremony, he serenaded the newlyweds with Everlong. And I always wonder if that couple is still married. Hmm. Uh, anyway, here is the studio version of Everlong from the Foo Fighters. I have a, a Chris Caraba fun fact. The Caraba's Italian restaurant actually part of the, the family lineage, right? I think it's my grandfather's cousin's family started. And someone actually noticed you yes. at a Caraba's. Yeah. And that, I guess, would be meta, right? Yeah, that's meta. Can I tune this for a second? Yeah. yeah. Because the thing is... So is John this... Sudano is man. this guy on YouTube. Yeah, we showed him the video. Well, we showed Chris, but I'm just putting everything into context again. And basically what he does is he has a catalog of songs that he'll play, Smells Like Teen Spirit, YMCA, Oasis, and he will sing Smash Mouth's All-Star over all of these songs. So we're doing it to say it's in sailors, of course? You do, you do whatever you want, right. man. You, you, you hey now, it. you're a rock star, get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star, get a show on, get paid. All right, you mustn't speak. I have worked with a lot of guys. You are, no joke, one of the best because your spirit is so infectious. People can't say no to you. You shove a mic in Lisa Loeb's face and say, can I ask you a question? She's like, yeah, how many points do you want it for? <laughs> one quick question. Yeah, sure, sure. All right, 1990s for one, two, three, or four points. One's the easiest, four's the most difficult. I, oh, two. We have a, a few more minutes left with Michael Stipe and Mike Mills of REM. Have you ever used a hashtag? I'm afraid to say yes, I have. Okay. Although, I've never been on Twitter. Now, here's your host. Jim Shear. The first ever 2017 Volume Awards. 30 years from now, you will remember this evening. <laughs> I guarantee it. Oh. The 60th Annual Grammy Awards Post Show with Mark Goodman, Alan Light, and Jim Shearer. Well, gentlemen, what did we think? <laughs> Just as simple, so as, simple, as, simple that. as that. <laughs> Oh my. That is tonight's big winner, Bruno Mars. Seven Grammy Awards he took home, including Record of the Year, Album of the Year, and Song of the Year. You are listening to Sirius XM Lithium. My name is Jim Shear, and I'm still feeling giddy from a few weeks ago when in Los Angeles, Billy Corgan reunited with James Eha for the first time in 16 years and played Smashing Pumpkin songs. And Jimmy Chamberlain played drums, which means they were only one Darcy shy of their heyday lineup. I am joined in the studio by Champagne Jerry. That <laughs> yeah, could be true. the theme song for 2018. That's what I, I keep hoping every year. <laughs> singing that song and being like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is the one, though. This time, you guys, I'm serious. So this is hard. Hi, Jim Shearer. I've always wanted to play a game with you. <laughs> well, call on Tuesday. Play 70s, 80s, 90s now. I'm at work, then. We'll sneak All out right. during lunch. <laughs> Let's go three. 1980s for three. This would give you the lead. Which of the following is not, not a cover song? Joan Jett's I Love Rock and Roll. Cindy Lopper's Girls Just Want to Have Fun, or Sweet Dreams Are Made of This from the Eurythmics. Sweet Dreams is not a cover song by the Eurythmics. The Jeff, you are correct. I love rock and roll, and Girls Just Want to Have Fun? Cover songs, believe it or not. It's the week in music with Lyle and Jim. And, and I tell people, I'm like, I'm in a band with Lyle Presler from Minor Threat. And they said, oh, man, this world i want to do that and i say listen it's easy you just have to do his laundry for a year and then you can be in a super group with lyle lyle what does this rank on your carometer yeah, i think that's pretty good i think that's that's a, a solid seven thank you guys for playing thank, thank you, you thank to you. everybody for listening my name is jim shear and i will see yins later